Okay. Right here. Level, level, oh, you can't see because my, my pencil disappeared. Right, right here. Level 37. Is that number important? Yes. That's your, that's, that's the most important number. That's why it's the biggest number on the screen. It's the biggest number on the screen because it's the most important number. That's the number that matters. The level. How many levels did you get? That's the important thing. Okay. Let's look at these other numbers, shall we? What do we got? We got time. Is time important? No. This number means nothing. Just, it's not there. That's, I can't erase it with my hand, but you get the idea. That that number is not important here. We'll just, we'll just, we'll, no, I'll leave it whatever. Okay. Marbles finished percent. Does that matter? No. That doesn't matter either. I mean, technically, you, you need three. But as a percentage, so that number doesn't mean anything. Score. Does score mean anything? It used to. It doesn't anymore. Score doesn't matter. We can get rid of score. That's gone. Total score. Does that matter? Nope. Doesn't matter. So total score. That's gone. Don't need it. Uh, season XP earned. Does that matter? No. That, don't need that. So none of these numbers matter. Just the big one up top. And that's the point. In Tilted, all you need is three marbles to the end. None of this matters. You just get three marbles to the end so that you can make that big number go up. That's all that matters. Nothing else matters. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The reason that's so important is this. When you are trying to get better at Tilted, you need to practice just like anything else. If you try to save more than three marbles, and in trying to save those three marbles, you end up killing all the marbles, now you have to restart the run. Which means whatever you died on, you don't get to practice on again until you get back up to that level. Now, early on in the game, it doesn't matter. But when you're getting up to level 35, level 42, it's taking you two, two and a half, even three hours to get up to those levels. And practicing once every three hours is not practice. You might as well be throwing darts at a board behind your back blindfolded while someone stabs you in the kidney with an ice pick, right? You'd be better off doing that. So if you fuck up, save three marbles and get them to the end at any cost. Doesn't matter how slow you go. Doesn't matter how cheating you do it. Like when you just like slow roll through those double hole rooms, inch by inch, square by square, whatever. Just get those three marbles to the finish because then you get to the next level and you get to try again, and now you're practicing, right? You can make a mistake on the next level so long as you get to the next level so you can keep practicing. And that's why that's so important. Because if you're just doing it once, if you get to 35 and you die, then you got to get back up to 35 to try again, and then you die. And then you got to get back up to 35 again, and then you got to try. That's not practice. You're just slamming your head against the wall. So you... Do whatever it takes. Go as slow as you need to. That's when I first hit the, the green woods. You want to know how slow my marbles were moving when I got to the green woods for the first time four seasons ago? They were literally just... You could, you could see the pixels rendering color as they rolled across. They were literally just inching along. One pixel at a time. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just get to the end any way you can.